Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, this is a little bit of a different video. Um, so like two years ago, I made this video called Refund Any Purchase on iOS, iOS 8 to 11, No Computer. Uh, this wasn't the best video, however, it did, actually did really well, got 30,000 views, so pretty happy about that. However, with the views comes all the comments of people saying it's a scam, it's not working, or it just didn't work for them and they're asking for help. Now, as you can see, there's 163 comments, not including the spam comments. So I had to look through these. Now, I didn't look through them all because um, I didn't get the notifications for like 90% of these and I never remember to check like two year old videos. So I'm really sorry guys if I didn't, if I missed your comment, but today I thought what I would do is I would address the most asked questions on this video and make sure you guys are not confused on any of this, on what's going on, or what your options are for refunding um, anything on iOS. So, let's jump right into this video. Now, I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the video, I guess kind of react to this uh, horrible video. But anyway, if you guys are cool, thought you down with that, everyone sit down, buckle the f frick up, let's go. I'm not Cub Scouts. All right. Oh god, horrible intro, let's get past that one. Oh, this is music, Jesus Christ. Okay, let me turn that down. Um, alright, step one, hit the link in the description, and sign in with your Apple ID. Literally, I don't understand, like, how you could have any pleasure in that. That's clear, but, um, yeah. Let's cover that up with that. Anyway, so you just gotta sign in on reporterproblem.appleid.com. So, once you're here... As you can see down here, all these things are uh, problems that you would might want to report or the, uh, AKA get a refund. Now here, as you can see, I zoomed in for whatever reason. Uh, stop, please, why did I do this? All right, anyway, so there should be a tap. So right here, report a problem, right? All you gotta do is click on that and there's gonna be like a little menu. And so that, so once the menu pops up, all you have to do is do like, um, my kid accidentally bought this or whatever. There should be a bunch of options. You might want to click other and Once you choose the option that is for you um, Did I do that? No. Oh, yeah, I went back here just to make sure you guys know that I still have in our purchase history when you have in your purchase history Obviously, you know that it's yours. You know, I haven't refunded it yet. Anyway, so I just chose um, Probably no, no, no didn't mean to purchase this item. So pretty much what that is, you just be like, I didn't really mean to purchase this item. You know, I accidentally, maybe like my face ID triggered it or I accidentally had my thumb on the thing and it worked. So that's all you gotta do. So then just briefly describe your problem. Usually this one works. Um, another one, if this one is not working, another one is, um, what was the option? Um, I didn't offer this purchase. So like your kid or someone on your phone decided to purchase it. So you didn't authorize it, so 90% of the time Apple will give you a refund back on that one. So if these simple ones don't work, then try that one. It'll redirect you to Apple support and it should um, work after that. So yeah, pretty much. Now, see, that is the stage of refund. Once you've done that, it should, you have to wait about one to two weeks. And once that time period has gone by, you should get all the money back into your account. So I think next is just a clip of, yeah. See, it only took three days. It was really quick for me. As you can see, I have 1776 my balance before. 70, since it was 79.99, add it right back to my account. Well, plus tax, but yeah. And as you can see, no more my purchase history. So there you go. I guess I'm kind of just re-explaining and analyzing the video at this point with voice, but you can see there, works pretty well for me. Now, what I'm going to do now, after we've watched the video and I've analyzed it, I'm going to go through the most common questions. Now, I've hearted some comments down here um, of people who had some really reoccurring questions that I thought I would like to address. So, first one is by this gentleman, or lady, I don't know, TSM phase. It says, it keeps saying we cannot process this request. Yeah, yes, that does happen. Whenever you click on request a refund, it says we cannot process the request. There are many different reasons for this, such as, you know, it was made for more, the purchase was made more than, uh, I think it's either 14 or nine. That's a really big range, but I think it was either made 14 or 90 days ago, and then you can't refund it. Um, there could, it could, they could, I don't know. There's a lot of different reasons, but 
if it says that, I, what I suggest doing is uh, choosing a different option. So back here, when it said um, these little options on the drop-down menu. Whoop. There we go. So on these little options in the drop-down menu, you might want to just choose a different option. If none of them work, then definitely go for I didn't authorize this purchase. You might want to go for that like second because I don't know if they uh, can tell how many per how many requests you made. That might be a little bit weird for them. But so I would go next to I don't I didn't authorize this purchase. Take you to Apple to support. Talk with Apple support and say you know I didn't mean to purchase this. And then, so after that, a anyway. Uh, I might have replied to that, I don't remember. No, I didn't reply to that one. Sorry about that, dude. Um, but anyway, it says you can process this request. There you go, there's your answer. Just try other ones. That's kind of what you do. Contact Apple support. Uh, let's see, another one. For me, it says not eligible for refund. This usually means, again, that it was not, that either the seller does not allow refunds. For example, if you try to refund VBox, I know that Fortnite does not let you refund it from this page you have to refund it in the app. Uh, I don't. I don't think you can refund V-Bucks, but like skins or whatever. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Nice channel log. Um, anyway, so yeah, so that seller might not um, authorize refunds, or it just means again your refund period has expired, or any of these. Again, contact the Apple support. Definitely your best option at this point. All right, I did it to my NBA and it said refunded, but still didn't re receive my refund right now. Now guys, make sure you wait seven to 14 days. I know I didn't trust this enough in my other video, but wait seven to 14 days. And if it does not work at that point, contact Apple support. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the answer to that question. So just be patient. All right, it worked. I just waited a week or so. Oh, that wasn't one I did, but thanks dude. Fun vote. Oh, I forgot to say this guy's name. Uh, Patrick and HD. Thanks for the comments, guys. Um. I tried to refund an app, but it won't let me in. It hasn't been 90 days yet. Once again, just contact Apple support. Like literally, most of these can be solved by contacting Apple support. And if it doesn't work by then, then they just, sorry, dude, you're out of luck. It's not gonna give you the refund. But there you go, that one uh, hasn't been 90 days. Just try and contact Apple support. Given your situation, they should help fix the issue. Uh, don't worry about that one. Oh, uh, that guy just made a mean comment, I don't know what. Anyway, uh, how long does it take for the app to be refunded? 7 to 14 days. That's how long it should take. Mine took 3 days. That was insane. I have no clue how that took 3 days. But, um, yeah, 3 days. Uh, thank you, King Solars, for the comment. Here we go. Great video. Thanks, Lurf. Lif, Lif. Thanks. Um, I don't think actually a game. Cool. Pretty new. Nice. Um, let's see. Did I hurt any of these ones? Uh, guys, if you can't remember, I'm just click on the I did not authorize this purchase. Yeah, see, this kind of explains what I've been claiming. If none of them work, definitely click on the I did not authorize this purchase. Because then you go to the app support, and 99% of the time, just a few minutes, it'll um, authorize the refund. Which is awesome. What happens if you purchase an item with a credit card on your account, like a PayPal removal card, after the purchase, then ask for a refund? Will it work? The answer to that is most of the time. I'm not 100% familiar with refunding on credit cards. That might be the credit card company's job, not really sure, but I'm pretty sure, on PayPal I know that you'll get refund, but I don't know about credit card. I would still try this anyway with credit card, because you might as well before contacting the credit card company, but yeah, it should work. Now this last question that I want to get into is, can I do this multiple times for V-Bucks on the same card in Apple ID? Now I kind of got into this a little bit before, but Fortnite, you cannot refund V-Bucks with this method. Refunding V-Bucks or skins or anything doesn't work, all right? Fortnite doesn't take that bull crap. It only does it in app. So the answer would be yes for anything else, but not for V-Bucks. You can do this multiple times for different apps, but definitely you cannot cannot do V-Bucks, guys. I'm just letting you know. Um, oh, okay, buddy, thanks. Um, but yeah, guys. Oh, hey, hey, hey. True, she's coming on my video. It's nice. Um, but anyway, I think that should be it for this video. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I, I don't know. I feel like this video is going to be a lot longer, but that was it. So those are the, pretty much, that's the, I guess this, you, could, I'm, you can call this video an FAQ for the most frequently asked questions for this video, because this video is getting a lot of comments, questions. So yeah, guys. So I guess now I'm just going to reply to them by sending them this video. Showing them all the FAQ. 
Anyway, guys, that should be it for this video today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, definitely smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.